And I want you to have the privilege of knowing who you are because you took an incarnation at a wonderful time in human history. The old is breaking up all around us and the old paradigm is clutching to power. The pushback is tremendous. You see, you cannot be disappointed at the political system and the justice system. It wasn't, it's not. <sighs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It can't be fixed. It was built this way. The way it is was the way it was built. It was built to hold people down. It was built to incarcerate. It was built to destroy. It wasn't built for justice. So you can't fix it because it was never built that way. For you to be disappointed in not getting justice is to be disappointed in something that was never going to give it to you in the first place. We have to be so in integrity with ourselves. We build something new. You see, we build something new. And those that are inside of it that wants to change it, you can't just change it. You're going to have to destroy some things. You're going to have to change not just policy. You're going to have to destroy some things, you see. So you have to be ready. This is a revolution we're involved in. Revolution of our mind and soul taking our power back and then being guided by the Holy Spirit itself to do what we're called to do at this time in human history. Everyone has a calling, but everyone has a different mission. You see, a different way of doing it. Some people are, we just graduated 17 ministers and they're going to be the tip of the spear of inspiration and healing and teaching. There's individuals that are practitioners that are holding that space of high prayer. There's individuals that are taking the frequency of activism and pushing the needle forward and not allowing people to go to sleep about what needs to be changed. There are people on the inside behind enemy lines, so to speak that are seeking to make a mighty difference. Where are you going to be when history is written? Where are you going to be? You see, you're going to take personal responsibility for your life. You're going to realize you're living in a plenum. Fullness. Fullness of life. Woo! Fullness of life. Right. All that I need is right here and right now. All that I need is right here and right now. No external authority figure. Those days are over. It's not going to be a savior or an external figure, strong man leading the country that's going to protect us. Would you stop that nonsense? This isn't a Marvel superhero time. This is you. You're your own superhero, you see? <laughs> that day is over. No saviors coming and no strong man politician. It's people, citizens waking up articulating a vision and then walking in that direction introducing everyone to their best friend which is the presence of God which is love which is generosity which is beauty which is taking care of each other with a deep and abiding tenderness and kindness and compassion don't step over the homeless give them something to eat 